This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Namaste everyone, it's me Pratima. Today I have the new Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus with me, which recently launched in China and is arriving very soon in India too, as per the company's latest teaser post. So when a uh, new Redmi Note series releases, I am always excited about it because they are quite popular here. In fact, Xiaomi says that they have shipped over 300 million units of Redmi Note phones globally and 72 million alone in India. However, if you remember, this lineup was originally known for its budget and mid-range phones only, but Xiaomi has shaken things up from last year as the Note 11 series also advanced into the premium mid-range segment. This year, the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus comes with even more high-end features like a 200 megapixel camera, a bigger 5000mAh battery with 120W fast charging and an improved OLED display. Now let's take a look at the box content and um, actually we get a lot of things here for a phone that costs one fourth of what the iPhone 14 Pro Max is asking you. So um, here we have another paper box where we have a silicon case, some paperwork, then we have the phone itself. You also get a pre-applied screen protector here. And um, keeping this aside, we have a 120 watt GAN charger. And finally, complementing it is the USB type A to type C cable. By the way, there's also a Redmi Note 12 Discovery Edition this time, which is basically the same phone as the Note 12 Pro Plus, but it boasts a 210 watt fast charging that can charge the phone in less than 10 minutes. But for that little bit of fast charging, the cost is a little high too. Anyway, coming from last year's Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus or what we call the Xiaomi 11i Hypercharge in India, which I have right here, there are quite a few design shifts I am noticing with this year's Redmi 12 Pro Plus. Instead of that uh, boxy finish with a sharp flat edges like that of the iPhones, Xiaomi has once again gone with a curved edge finish on its glass back. Um, I personally didn't mind this design, although uh, this one is pretty great as well. I think it makes holding the phone a bit more comfortable. It is a bit hefty though as it weighs 208 grams but it has a nice heft and the weight distribution is also even which means that you should get used to it just like that. It is also IP53 certified so dust and minor water spills is not going to be a problem. And um, I like how Xiaomi is still keeping the IR blaster and the 3.5mm headphone jack alive here. So as far as the design goes, the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus earns good points from me. This uh, new camera island also uh, looks a lot cleaner and more elegant than the one on its predecessor. Okay, now when it comes to the display, the changes Xiaomi has made here are quite good as well. I compared its display to the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus and found that the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus's color calibration was relatively closer to natural and not as punchy as the Note 11 Pro Plus. Now, colors come down as a matter of personal preference, but for me, I like the naturalish one from the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus. Contrast levels don't look overdone here, and this OLED display can maintain color details really nicely. The 120Hz refresh rate on this screen is now adaptive as well and in my limited usage so far, I haven't faced any kinds of micro lags or stutters of any kind, not even once. Likewise, Xiaomi has also thrown in everything from HDR10+, Dolby Vision to Wide One L1 certification to make your binging sessions as enjoyable as possible. And unlike the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus, which apparently still has problems playing HDR content on Netflix, the Note 12 Pro Plus plays all sorts of Dolby Vision content without any trouble. I also like the output from its stereo speakers with sound full and detailed, especially in terms of mid-frequencies like vocals. 
Xiaomi has, however, lowered the peak brightness from 1200 nits to 900 nits here, which might seem like a step down, but it's actually not. Because 900 nits is what this phone can manage under harsh uh, sunlight uh, and such, while the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus maxes out at 700 nits in those conditions. And that 1200 nits of peak brightness is something achieved only in small areas of the display when watching HDR content. So between the two, I found that the Note 12 Pro Plus actually has a more legible screen in bright outdoor situations. Over onto the performance, the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus is powered by MediaTek's 6NM Diamond City 1080 chip, just like the Realme 10 Pro Plus that I have been using personally. Except for the slightly overclocked CPU, this chipset is pretty much identical to the Diamond City 920 which we saw on the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus. So you shouldn't expect to be blown away by its performance in any way. Everyday usage, however, feels just as fluid, but the cons of this chipset is that it just cannot push high-end games to higher graphics or FPS settings. But Xiaomi says it has enlarged the vapor chamber cooling area by an impressive 65% and thermal conductivity by 77% over the 11 Pro Plus. And that really shows as the thermals on this thing is simply amazing. In almost all the games I tried, the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus stayed cooler by a couple of degrees at least. And um, its larger thermal headroom means the game also runs steadier for much longer. I tried playing Genshin Impact at medium settings and 60 FPS mode on both these phones and everything from frame rate stability to temperatures is better on the 12 Pro Plus. Much, much better actually. I'll be discussing my full gaming experience with this phone in my full review, so make sure you're subscribed to our channel and keep the notifications on as well so that you don't miss out on the video. Okay, it's time to talk about the cameras now. It's amazing how smartphone industry has moved from 108 megapixels to 200 megapixels so fast, and the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus is by far the cheapest phone to have a 200 megapixel camera phone right now. It comes with Samsung's Isocell HPX primary sensor, which uses 16 is to 1 pixel binning to give 12.5 megapixel images by default. Oh, and um, this 1200 megapixel camera is also accompanied by OIS, which I think is the first for a Redmi Note series phone. Complementing this triple camera system here is an 8 megapixel ultra wide and a useless 2 megapixel macro shooter. So based on a handful of images I've managed to click so far, I found that the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus indeed delivers sharper images with better details compared to the 108 megapixel camera on the Note 11 Pro Plus. Its color processing also tends to be more even and in most cases, I like how it handles the contrast too. But the HDR processing on these phones is still a little too inconsistent. That 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera is nothing special though. The Note 12 Pro Plus does manage better dynamic range at most times, but the overall picture quality is just about average. Xiaomi has noticeably upped its portrait game too. If you look at these pictures, the subject's skin tone looks relatively more pleasant on it than the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus. It's the same thing with selfies as well. As for low light shots, I am not actually fond of the normal nighttime images so much because there's a lot of visible glares, but turning on the night mode makes the picture so much better. So if you are someone who shoots pictures in low lighting conditions, night mode here is definitely going to come handy. When it comes to videos, Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus can shoot at up to 4K 30fps from its main camera. But unfortunately, since Xiaomi has not enabled OIS under video mode, both the 4K 30 and 1080p 60fps videos come off shaky here. So if you want stereo footages, you're gonna have to shoot at 1080p 30fps. Okay, so that was all for the all new Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus. I think Xiaomi has been really clever with the upgrades this time. Both the design and the display have been improved for the better, while its cooling solution has also improved. 
for what it's worth that 200 megapixel camera is also not as gimmicky as i thought it would be so it does look like a well-balanced mid-range phone for 2023 I will be using this phone alongside the Realme 10 Pro Plus for a few days and I will be coming up with its full review soon so watch out for that. And what else you need to watch out for is our sponsor Squarespace. If you're looking to build a fast and responsive website for your blog or business, you've got to check out Squarespace. It is an all-in-one, easy-to-use platform that offers unlimited hosting, fast content delivery, built-in security and 24-7 support. One of the best features of Squarespace is that it lets you create a community website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes. Likewise, the Squarespace extensions let you add third-party extensions to your website to help you manage, optimize, promote, and expand your site. So go ahead and check out squarespace.com gadgetbyte to get 10% off today.